Sydney's newest train line is poised to open early next year. At first, it'll only operate as a shuttle service. Ultimately, the South West Rail Line will link with the rest of the network and the government says it wants commuters to be part of the decision process. Building two new train stations at Leppington and Edmondson Park and carving the line under roads and over uneven terrain has cost taxpayers $1.8 billion. Now the state government is hoping to reap the benefits of the welcome arrival of trains. I'm very pleased to confirm that services will commence early in the new year. Those who jump on board won't have too much time to get comfortable. For at least a year it'll be a shuttle service to Liverpool, where passengers can change for Parramatta or the city. The state opposition says that's not good enough. Anyone who knows anything about commuters in Sydney knows they hate changing trains and they don't like changing modes of transport. The minister says the line's future will be up to the travelling public. In due course, we will integrate the line into the entire network, but after we assess what the majority of passengers are doing with their movements. The Leppington to Liverpool shuttle will go every half an hour. Long-term options include integrating with the Cumberland line to Parramatta, the Bankstown line direct to the city, or possibly the airport line. The rail line may be surrounded by greenfields now, but transport organisers say within a decade there will be hundreds of thousands of people nearby. You've got 600 parking spaces here, you've got a great station, modern facilities, you can get into the city. Build it and they will come is the ethos of Sydney trains. David Spicer, ABC News, Edmondson Park.